add the importance of alignment and formatting of text and paragraph for a corporate document and other things like brochure flyers so basically here you can see a sample document that i created recently and you can see that the document seems to be well organized look at the table of content everything seems to be well aligned the text and the other things the headings the capital letters the small letters each and everything seems to be very well organized and well spaced normally we ignore these small things but these small these small things are basically very much critical and play a very vital role in designing any professional document so i am just going to share the small techniques uh, like the text panel the character panel the paragraph panel that alignment panel and with the help of these panel we are going to achieve the desired results so let's take an example of uh, this page and i have just scattered each and everything of this page and let's see how we can organize it and make the same as here okay so first of all uh, here is our rectangle box let's place it some somewhere here and we have to make sure that the base color and the all the size of the body text the heading the subheading is uh, already decided okay so let's change the font color of this to white and let's place it here in order to make sure that this is well in the center of the rectangle box uh, select align center while the text is selected select both of these objects another click on the rectangle bar and click on this horizontal align center so it will ensure that your text is in the middle of the rectangle box okay now here this is the basically the name of the chapter so this text and this text should be on the same line so basically we have two options for doing that let's try this guide option okay and change its size to 12 and select it to horizontal uh, to align right that is in the paragraph panel and we will have to make sure that it is on the guide that, that we have drawn okay like this now this is the main heading let's keep its size to 30 and in order to make sure that it is well in center first of all select this heading go and select the align center and then go to the window align panel and click on the horizontal line center so it will ensure that your text is in the middle of the page okay now comes toward the uh, body text or we can set the first heading and the body text as you can see that the text is not center so basically first of all we have to select this text box and click on the go to align and horizontal align center okay uh, there are few things that need to have a look at that the body tag that we selected as 12 okay now the body tags we are going to select as let's say 14 okay it's already selected but the spacing is not uniform and it is not giving a very good look to your document so we have to select the body and change its character spacing to 18 it seems reasonable and here we can see that our text is not ending at this edge of the text box so in order to resolve this issue select the body text and go to paragraph panel and click on the justify with last line align left now you can see that your text is getting finished at this edge of the text box now the color select the body and click on the eyedropper tool and hold on the shift key and simply click on it so it will change the color of your body text as well okay now here we can see that there are two there were two main headings that we need to create so select a rectangle box okay control uh, eyedropper tool and create it and then create another copy like this make the adjustment select this basically this is the partition line click on one rectangle box another click on the rectangle box and click on the horizontal line left so basically this is uh, partition is on the left edge of this rectangular, rectangular box so now we have to keep these all headings and the body text in the center of the document and the text size is also needed to be made same 
so make sure that the body tax is 14 make sure that everything is align center okay now for this left column select this all click on the code and no click on uh, select the code and click on this rectangle box because we are going to align in the center in reference to the rectangular box and click on the horizontal line center so basically now each and everything is in the center of the text box do the same for the this one okay now we need to make sure that the basically now here you can see that the things are going upward and downward and it is not in the aligned manner so the main the shortcut to do that make sure that the first one is in the center of the box and the last text is in the center of the box click on click all the objects and click on the spacing vertical distributed center so basically it has centered all the elements do the same for this one as well uh, select both click on the p first of all vertical align top so basically it has made aligned with that one and here is the last one do the same for this one okay now select the right column all and click on the vertical align center so basically now you can see that your text is well organized within these boxes okay now here is the table that is the heading of the table so we need to make sure that it has to be centered in the uh, according to the table as well but uh, when you do not have any reference to make uh, the cent make the heading center so there are few there are, there is another option to do that just make sure that your heading is in the align center and just drag this text box to here and drag this text box to here so it will, it will automatically align your text in the center of the table now here comes the image part make sure that your re the resolution of image is uniform not over stretched and make sure that your design elements is well placed like this there should be no white spacing something like that okay do the same for this one like this so basically now you can see that the text the image and the design elements are well aligned as well now here comes the second headings here you can see that your text box is getting ended here where as it should be ended here in order to make sure that your document is well aligned so what we have to do just select the body portion okay the text size is okay that is the 14 but the spacing is should be 18 that we use for the above elements and simply drag this text box to the end like here so everything and we have to do the same thing for this so we do not go each time to the correct character and the paragraph panel to adjust the thing once we are comfortable that these format this formatting is uh, fine for the rest of the document so basically just select this part use the eyedropper tool and click on this one so it will automatically apply the effect on the rest of the headings so for me the document seems to be look very much professional okay now few more things we have to adjust the footer here so footer heading should be made 12 as we had for the top heading but we need to make sure that this heading and this one needs to be aligned as well so for this we have to create a guide click on the top heading another click on the top heading and select horizontal align left okay in the same way click on this this and click on another guide and horizontal align left so it will automatically align the bottom heading with the top heading in order to make sure these headings are aligned as well click on both another click on that and align on the top okay now we have to make sure that these this one and the chapter of the name should be same as well so select the name of the heading select the page number and then another click on the receiving and simply click on the horizontal align right now you can see that the document looks to me very much neat and clean and giving a very uh, good look as it was giving in the beginning 
so i believe that you must have learned something new in this video and i look forward to hearing something uh, in the comment section from you people thanks for watching